So this story is about the time that I astro projected. And so I was inspired to make this video by a content creator who was saying that DFTH is not real. And so when you D-I-E, it's really just the energy from your brain literally leaving, you know, your brain. And this explains why when you quote unquote die, your body is still here. Your body just then starts to go through the decaying process and the decomposing process. But your actual body is still here when you quote unquote D.I.E. But your soul goes somewhere and it's the same place that your soul can go when you astral project. And so this particular um, astral projection experience, not dream experience, um, it occurred when I was staying in my old place and I had been having astral projection dreams and I was thinking that they were sleep paralysis, demonic, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody trying to possess me or something like that, or it was a demon or something like that, but now I know better. It's not that. It's That's the fear thing of it. But so this particular dream, I, I had built up the courage to, because I had been having astral projection experiences. But um, I was like, I'm going to build up the courage where next time this happens, I'm not going to let these entities bother me. They're not going to try to keep me paralyzed anymore. You know what I'm saying? When I'm having this experience, I'm going to stand up for myself. I'm not afraid. And I don't care what it is or who it is. If you're trying to mess up my sleep, you're not going to do it. And so with this mindset, I said the next time I have an astral projection experience and I'm in that sleep paralysis state, I'm going to let that entity know, don't you cannot mess with me. I'm going to let that demon know. And so this particular experience, I uh, was asleep in the bed and I started to um, wake up. And I was paralyzed from the neck down. And the next thing you know, I saw a being. I don't even know how else to explain it. Right there in my room. A short being wearing dark colored clothes. I really couldn't see the face. It was some, some it was somebody in my room. It was something in my room. Someone in my room. Um Next thing, I, next thing I know, this beam was right in my face. Now, I'm laying vertically in the bed. The window is facing to the right of the bed. And I'm thinking that that's where this entity came out of the window because the window was right there. That's the only place that, you know, you could have came from, you know. And so that's where it appeared to have came from. So... I saw it, then next thing you know, it appeared right in front of me. It wasn't like I saw it walking towards me, hovering towards me. No, it was just like flash, flash. You know what I'm saying? And not even a flash. It just like kind of happened. And then next thing you know, it, I just was looking. And it was looking at me. And I started to choke it with my right hand. That's the only thing I, I could, all of a sudden, I could move my right hand. That was the only thing I could move. With all the strength in me, I choked it, and then I completely fell asleep after that. I really don't remember what happened after that at all. And so my evaluation of it at that time was, yes, I, 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 that demon was trying to possess me, and I stopped it right before it could try to jump on me or before it could try to hurt me or, or something like that. But now I know that that was probably an extraterrestrial being contacting me for whatever reason, because I'm open to those experiences. <clears throat> this extraterrestrial being was trying to contact me, and I'm, I am I let it know, no, I'm not no, some fearful human or some spirit that you can just come tamper and play with. You know what I'm saying? Come to me with, with respect and with regard, and then maybe then we can have a conversation. And so basically... Now, in hindsight, I know that this was not a demon and monsters and stuff, they they exist on Earth. 
in the real world and this current time is not like so a demon from the spiritual world can really harm you when you in your physical body this was an extraterrestrial being trying to contact me and notice i didn't say abduct me or nothing like that i didn't say i got abducted i said that they tried to contact me and like i said i thought this was sleep paralysis i thought this was you know on some on some christianity stuff i thought this was like you know a demon trying to possess me you know and so <clears throat> now in hindsight i know better and yeah that was basically my astral projection experience and i've had a few more after that but i'm just trying to get a hold on all of you know the things that i go through